back to my channel and in today's video I am back with another Majuri must-have it's been quite a minute since I posted the last one if you guys haven't already seen it I've actually posted I believe three now so we have one two three and now this is part four of Majuri must-haves every month on my channel I review a few of my favorite Majuri products and every couple months I like to compile all of my favorites together to show you guys and update you on my collection today we have quite a bit of material so so let's get right into it. We have four necklaces, four earrings, three rings, and two bracelets. Before we go into the video, I just want to say that I do have 10% off with Majuri, so you can use any of the codes down below, and the links will directly apply the 10% off of first-time customers, so make sure you use the links down below and save yourself a little bit of money. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started on this video. So I'm going to start off with earrings because, like I said, there are four earrings. All of them, I've just absolutely loved these past few months I honestly need more ear holes I need more piercings because honestly it's been so hard to try to alternate and they're all really timeless pieces a lot of my pieces are solid gold except for one so most of the time I do not take off my pieces especially when I do my monthly reviews I actually just keep it on for the entirety of the month if you guys are not new to my channel then you will know I much prefer solid gold just because I'm a little bit lazy and I don't like to take off the items and I always love the items so I always like to keep it on typically for more statement pieces I do prefer gold vermeil which is basically solid gold coating but not the entire thing is solid gold the one and only gold vermeil piece that I actually have in this collection in terms of earrings are these large hoops that I'm wearing today I have the other hoops I have the thin large hoops I also have the editor hoops and this one is a lot more different because it has more of like a statement feel and I also really like the way that these earrings are designed. The way that these earrings are designed is that it is just a very structured, straight line, very statement-y. Really reminds me of the stacker ring as well as the boyfriend collection. It just has that very like crisp, look to the item and because they are such large hoops i don't mind that they're gold for me anyway because i would not be able to sleep with these and i probably wouldn't shower with them if i want to wash my hair and stuff so i don't mind that these are gold for me at all but honestly i do love these earrings i just feel like they look so 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 good and are just great for the daily especially if you are looking for some statement hoops so the next item is another item that i'm actually wearing on my ear right now and they are the large diamond studs so I already mentioned it in the last September favorites video but I wanted these diamond earrings because I really have been trying to elevate my look and my jewelry by getting more diamond items even though they have the mini diamonds I really wanted to opt for the large diamonds because you know personality wise I want to be out there and just really in your face uh, I just really really like that if you guys are new to my channel then you probably don't know this quote but literally when it comes to diamonds my mentality is if I have to squint then it's a no so these are not squintable earrings let me tell you they are so nice just make sure you don't have a Kim Kardashian moment with them and take them swimming and just lose them or something like that but so far um you know I haven't had a Bora Bora moment so I think I'm I'm fine they've been really really good to me this past month I've just been wearing them and I've gotten so many compliments on these they're just so simple and classic and just great investment pieces for sure so the next two earring items I'm gonna talk about it but I'll try them on for you later and just show you on the side the next earrings that I have are the climbers so these diamond climbers basically they just look like this and what I really love about it is as you can see from the side you can actually just slide the item onto your ear and there's no backing at all it really doesn't irritate your ear like a lot of the times with studs there's a lot of pus buildup and stuff like that just because you know you're kind of like clamping your ear in between there's not a lot of breathing room with things like cuffs and with things like sliders there's just so much breathing room for your ears and there's not a lot of pus buildup at all just because there's no backing that's really like trapping your earlobe that's what I really really love about it another thing I love about it is that 
it makes it look like you have way more piercings than you do so for me I always like to put it on my second lobe and kind of like have it go upwards so it looks like you know I have more jewelry than I do on my ear although I am planning to get more piercings I'm sure it just looks really really good and it's just very sleek I love the line that just goes up it just looks amazing the last set of earrings that I have are the pave diamond bold hoops if you guys have seen my other majority videos you will know that I already have the solid gold bold hoops these ones are no different except they have the diamond they were honestly the best every day do not take them off hoops if you do not have them let me tell you you just need it when I first 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 got them not the diamond ones but the bold ones I wanted one where I didn't have to take it off but I wanted it to be a hoop earring because like I said I wanted that breathability without having that like stud in the back the bold hoops honestly were so great to me but like I said with the elevation of diamonds and stuff I wanted to get the diamond ones and they look absolutely amazing another thing is if you don't already have the bold hoops in solid gold and you're also a little bit interested in the diamond ones i actually would just go for the diamond ones only because on the other side of the earrings you don't see the diamond like if you can see this is the back of the diamond earrings whereas this is the front of it so i feel like if you actually get these ones then you can alternate between so you can put them on backwards and you get the bold look if you want and then if you want to put it on front frontwards then you get the diamonds in the front so I actually think you're kind of getting two looks in one if you will that is if you haven't gotten the bold hoops already in solid gold these ones are new so if you already got the bold hoops do not blame yourself because these ones didn't come out until much later so you probably didn't see them until much later anyway either way I have both and I honestly love them both so I honestly don't think you can go wrong if you only have to pick one I would just go with the diamond ones because you're basically getting two looks in one going on to next Necklaces. I'm gonna start off with the necklaces that I have on my neck right now. The first one is a layered necklace It is actually just these two necklaces here. It is actually one necklace They actually did the built-in layering for you. This one is actually in gold vermeil So you do have to take it off every night The stone here is actually a gemstone and I actually mentioned this in my last favorites video I've been really into gemstones because I've been more and more into the whole realm of like energy and stuff like that So I've been collecting a few more crystals and I think I think it's actually been really nice at having it on my body because I just want to attract like better energy and kind of release not so positive energy I guess so I've been really into gemstones and I actually think that moving forward with my Majuri collection, I will be collecting a little bit more gemstones. So definitely look out for those. The first one is a layered necklace. I think this is perfect for people who are too lazy to layer themselves. And another reason why this necklace is honestly one of my favorites for gold vermeil necklaces is that, for example, this necklace, although I love it, one of the things I don't love about necklaces with a pendant is that you can always see the end of the necklace and it always slides down to the front so the beauty of this necklace here not only did they layer it for you but also the backing does not move and this gemstone also does not move so you will never have that problem where the back of the necklace comes to the front and stuff like that you never really have to adjust the necklace at all so the second necklace I wanted to talk about is this initial pendant right here I've actually talked about this a lot already on Instagram especially early in the summer even pre-summer I've already been talking about this a lot this one is such a a great statement piece and I've said this a million times when it comes to any Majuri video but I feel like especially if you have an initial that is just so pretty like an S or like a B or like I don't know if you have one of those letters you really really gotta like be into the monogram stuff because I love the monogram but L is just not an interesting letter like I'm sorry for anyone else that have L's like I don't know if you relate for example like if you have an S like my friend she has an S and she has this exact necklace it is so 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 beautiful if you wear a sweater and you just wear this over top it just stands out so nicely and I love that this kind of like loops around the detail of this necklace is just so intricate and it's it goes like this around for every single one of their letters I really highly recommend checking that out especially if you like the letter of your name or another thing you can do which is what I did is for my diamond pendant which I featured in the last video I got it for my last name because W is just so much more interesting than this one. So the other two necklaces that I have raved about 
on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, also on Instagram. Good thing I didn't wear them today because I feel like I already featured them a million times. The first one is the choker and I featured it in last last month's favorites video, but it is the triple beaded choker. This one makes me just feel like royalty. I wore it all through Europe, never taking it off. Like literally went diving in these necklaces, but this is such a classy choker. It actually does go around your neck. I'm just gonna show you like this. It's not like hanging low. So it is definitely more of a choker, but it is definitely like the classiest choker I've ever seen. Just the way that the metal is kind of like laid out is so pretty. I've just honestly been so obsessed with this necklace from day one that I got it. And I got it shipped specifically to Amsterdam. That was how obsessed I was with this necklace. The second necklace that I also got in the same haul that I was also obsessed with is the large diamond necklace. Once again, the beauty of this necklace is that because the pendant, as you can see here, the pendant is connected to the chain. So it doesn't just like slide around. So you will never have an issue with trying to adjust your necklace to the front or the back or like whatever it is. It will always just hang perfectly in front. And this one, like I said, there are once again, two sizes. You can get the mini one or you can get the large one. But as mentioned before, I do prefer the large one. I want to be in your face and I don't want you to have to squint, okay? Even if you're nearsighted, I want you to be able to see my diamond. That is kind of the mentality that we have right now. This has honestly been one of my favorite, favorite necklaces. I feel like it has officially replaced my initial necklace. If you guys have been watching the channel from a really long time ago, then you will know that I have been obsessed with my initial necklace and I finally upgraded to my diamond necklace. The next category that I have are the rings. So I have three rings for you, all also the ones I'm obsessed with. The three rings that I have are actually all in solid gold. And if you guys are wondering how I stack my rings. I actually do have a video on it on how I stack all of my Madrid rings. So go ahead and view that video. The ones that I got, I got three new pieces. So the first one is the thin dome ring, which is this one here. I also got the pave diamond ring here. And then the last one that I got is the baguette diamond ring here. All of the rings I'm wearing today are all from Madrid. I've already featured them in other Madrid must have videos. So I'm not going to repeat myself. So I'm only going to be showing you guys or talking about the three new ones today. Basically to highlight out of the three, honestly, my favorite ring, actually not even my favorite from the three, but just my favorite on my entire collection is the baguette diamond ring. This ring right here, ladies and gentlemen, I was so dramatic in my last video because I was like, if I were to ever be mugged, I would ask to just keep this one item. Like, take everything just let me keep my baguette diamond ring please although that's probably one of the ones that they're obviously gonna take because it's diamond but if they were like okay fine you're so annoying like let's just give you one or whatever so that's honestly like just such a favorite of mine i love how structured this diamond ring looks and i love that the diamonds are just spread all throughout the top and if you kind of like look at it from the side i just really like how it pops up and i just really like the texture of that the other ring that i had spoken about is also the thin dome ring. I have the dome ring already in the diamond version and I really thought that by getting this it would scratch the itch of wanting this one because I actually wanted this one for the longest time. Then when they came out with this one I was like I'm gonna get this instead but even after getting it I was like okay I mean you know I love it but it didn't scratch the itch fully. I still really wanted the thin dome ring. I think the reason is just because it honestly does just still look different. If you look at the two side by side, it still really looks different. Like the diamond one is on this one and the solid gold one is here. Honestly, I do not feel like I am buying two of the same ring. So at the end of the day, I finally got the solid gold one as well. I absolutely love this ring. I think that if you are going to get this ring, you need to manage your expectations because whenever I get these rings, I personally know that I wear these every damn day. I do everything with all my rings unless if someone tells me to take them off specifically. It doesn't even scratch that easily, but I know the scratches will come just based on the way that I wear it. So if you are getting it and you're like, I'm not gonna let it scratch. I'm like, honey, like even if you wear it just during the day, I feel like the chances of it getting scratched is 
very easily. If you look at my ring, you can barely see the scratches, but if you are someone who's actually a perfectionist, then, you know, maybe it's not for you, but honestly, at the end of the day, I still think it's a beautiful ring and it is one of my favorites. The next ring that I have is the Pave Diamond Ring. It is this one right here. And before I got the baguette ring, all of my friends said that this one is their favorite ring, the Pave Diamond Ring, this one right here. That's the one that I actually get most compliments on and it is quite flat. Unlike me, if you don't like that little thing that kind of like pops up on your fingers, then the Pave one might actually be better for you because that one is actually flat, whereas the dome ring actually kind of like pops up from your fingers. You can keep that in mind if you're trying to debate between the two rings. Also, for some reason, the Pave Diamond Ring, I actually get more external comments from. Out of the three rings, the baguette one is still my fave. Take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Okay, the next category that I have are bracelets. So I have two bracelets for you. The first one is the Diamond Pendant Bracelet. This bracelet is honestly one of my favorites. I feel like I'm already part of the family. I already got the necklace of this bracelet in the letter W, like I said, so I got this in the letter L, but I feel like this is super classic. Once again, solid gold, so I never have to take it off. One of the things I want to talk about when it comes to the Pave Diamond by Majuri is I'm really, really, really surprised at how well structured they really made the diamonds. For example, my diamond dome ring, I really thought like every time something happens, I'm like, oh my God, did the diamonds come off? And I would like look at my ring and literally not a single diamond has fallen off. It's been so many months and I wear this every damn day. It does not come off. So if that's a worry of yours, like do not be worried. The initial bracelet and the initial necklace, the diamonds are so sturdy. They will never fall off. And you can trust me because I've literally gone diving for sea urchins with this diamond ring and it has not scratched off with all the rocks and all the diving and like all the water. I'm just such a huge fan of a jury, as you guys all know. It just really shocked me that it doesn't come off in any of these circumstances. The next next bracelet that I have is this beaded bracelet here. This is actually my favorite bracelet of all time besides the boyfriend bold chain as you guys know that I love this entire line of products but this one just because as a bracelet I feel like I kind of wanted something that stood out a little bit more. I feel like these ones are a little bit too dainty sometimes so I really like this one because this one's just as sturdy. It is also all solid gold and it just really really stands out on my entire wrist. So this has definitely become probably no actually it probably is my number one favorite bracelet I know y'all shocked because you expect it to be the boyfriend bull chain, but nope It is actually the beaded bracelet and I believe this is actually the entirety of this video I hope you guys enjoyed my updated collection and I will be making another updated collection in a couple of months If you guys end up getting anything, please let me know I would love to know your picks and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!